active subwoofers or passive subwoofers? Who will win? We'll find out soon, but let's start with the basics. What differentiates an active speaker from a passive one? Fundamentally, it's just the amplification. The active speaker has the amplifier built in, whereas the passive speaker requires an external amplifier. Depending on the use, one type may be preferable over the other. The active subwoofer is the more traditional choice. For example, when we have our classic 5.1 system, we place the subwoofer next to the low cabinet that we have under the TV. An active subwoofer needs a power outlet and the subwoofer signal to function. Essentially, this signal is taken from the output of our audio video amplifier, which is somewhat the heart of the system. So we go from the audio video amplifier to the input of our powered subwoofer. A passive subwoofer, on the other hand, needs an amplified signal to function. Essentially, we start from our audio video amplifier, for example, a 5.1 system, and we go from the pre-sub output of our amplifier to the input of another amplifier that we will dedicate entirely to our subwoofer. Then, from the output of our dedicated uh, amplifier, we go to the input of our passive subwoofer. When choosing an in-wall or in-ceiling subwoofer, a passive subwoofer is usually preferred because it is smaller, easier to install, and essentially requires no adjustments, as all adjustments will be made on the dedicated amplifier, which is usually located near our audio video amplifier. I hope I understood the difference between an active subwoofer and a passive subwoofer. For those who like to tinker with their setup, I suggest opting for a passive subwoofer because an active subwoofer is a pre-assembled unit, so you can't change too many parameters. Only those dedicated to amplification, DSP, etc. With a passive subwoofer, however, you can play around much more. You can even change or add any amplifier. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. See you soon.